Hello everyone, my name is Diana Zupas and I'm the founder of a skincare company called Cavalier Skincare. And uh, I'm here to tell you about um, a wonderful charity which has to do with uh, lovely donkeys. It's called um, Safe Haven for Donkeys and uh, it's trying to raise money and increase awareness about the donkeys in the Holy Lands. So these are not just any donkeys. We like to believe that they're the holy donkeys uh, in Palestine that they have been very much abandoned in the middle of a war. Um, they're suffering, they're really undercared for, and there are a couple of wonderful people who have put this whole thing together. So I'm here to tell you a little bit about it and um, tell you a funny story actually as to how on earth did a Greek model get involved with um, donkeys in the Holy Lands and how a vet was sent over there to help out. So this is how I came along um, to do this um, today. Um, as I said, I've got a skincare company with um, organic uh, natural products made with plants, herbs and essential oils. And I got a call one day and was asked whether I would be happy to give some of my products to help the injured skin of the donkeys. Of course, I thought, how is that going to happen? You know, my products are not tested on animals and um, we're only testing on, on people and we know it works wonderfully for people, but um, how about the donkeys? I didn't know. So the chap who was going to travel all the way to Palestine uh, is a wonderful vet, uh, Stuart Earsby, who actually contacted me and he said, well, let's give your products a, a go. Let's send them over and see what happens. This is what we did. We actually sent some skincare over to the donkeys and we started applying them on the injured parts, especially around their mouths. Uh, where the kind of like improvised harnesses that they make out of ropes and chains unfortunately in Palestine were used and uh, they were cutting their skin, they were bleeding, they were in a really really bad condition um, so we really started treating them with my skincare products and um, we healed them and we saved them uh, the other thing that Stuart uh, and his team came up with was that we needed a lot of fabrics, we needed a lot of soft materials to actually try to wrap around the chains and around all the ropes that were injuring the poor donkeys. So I had to rally around with all my uh, clients uh, from my skincare clinic and try and get as much soft and luxurious fabrics we could get. So I met Stuart and um, he went on his way <laughs> to Palestine with a lot of his vet kit and his dentistry kit to help these donkeys but also a lot of organic skincare products and a lot of fabrics. So that's the funny part of the story. Um, unfortunately, when Stuart went over there, it was not all laughs and giggles because these donkeys have been really badly abandoned. There's a lot of famine, people are very poor, they're in the middle of the war, and of course donkeys are not their first priority. I have here a few photographs from um, Stuart Earspace, uh, our wonderful vet, um, and his work with the donkeys. Um, there are some cutie ones and there are some injured ones um, and these are the ones that I really, really um, have poured my heart out for. Uh, there's a donkey in particular, a female one, which is called Jenny and um, Jenny was pregnant, um, she was trying to give birth but um, the baby was like halfway in, halfway out, unfortunately nobody cared for her, she nearly died. Had Stuart not travelled all the way there, she would have not been with us today. He managed to save her. There are photographs here of Jenny on a drip, um, being rehydrated, being looked after, uh, being all cleaned up after the operation of uh, obviously removing um, the dead little donkey from her. And um, you can see in the background the, how dirty and abandoned the whole background area is. Um, other things that um, Stuart has been doing is uh, a lot of hoof speaking, really trying to help their hooves and their legs, um, clear everything out, a lot of dentistry work on the donkeys. Uh, of course it's almost impossible to travel um, these days on a plane with your own dentistry kit because it's all full of sharp metal objects so you can imagine how much assistance we needed to have to be able to get um, Stuart over there with his um, whole dentistry kit um, because you don't need uh, just simple tools to work on the donkey's teeth and there is a massive photograph here of some really really big teeth uh, and we've managed to do all the work on that. Uh, there are a lot of wonderful people who have helped in, in our efforts. The first travel was um, over to Palestine was sponsored by William Hill. 
Also, there is another person uh, named Celine of the Gina restaurants in Yorkshire that was very generous to provide um, a lot of the money that uh, Stuart Earsby needed on his way to Palestine for new harnesses, for head collars for the donkeys, um, again for more fabrics like the ones myself and all the customers of my clinic collected, um, hoof picks, uh, veterinary products, there was so much that needed to be put together by a lot of happy volunteers. Uh, even things like jars of honey and jars of um, marmalade and people are always raising eyebrows like why did you need to send honey and marmalade out there for the donkeys honey is very very good for healing their wounds so that was one of um, our little tricks and also the jam to make jam sandwiches because the donkeys were so undernourished that even if we tried to give them medication through the mouth uh, they just couldn't eat anything they were very close to the point of exhaustion so we had to put the medication into the jam sandwiches and tempt them with jam sandwiches to get them to really eat something and take the medication. Uh, otherwise, we'd have to put, put every single donkey on a drip and we just didn't have that. Um, the other thing that obviously some of you who are watching uh, could do if you decide, like ourselves, that this is a charity close to your heart and that you care about the poor little donkeys of Palestine in the Holy Lands, um, you could make your own donations if you want, um, either by going to Stuart Earsby website, which is www.doineedavet.co.uk um, and find much more information and uh, ask Stuart directly questions of how he helped all these wonderful creatures. So that's all on how Safe Haven for Donkeys is trying to do some good work and how we're trying to create awareness and uh, raise some funds. And as I said at the beginning, it's very close to my heart as well. Uh, not because these are wonderful creatures, but also because in Greece, where I come from and where my company, Cavalier Skincare, is coming from, we've had donkeys all our lives uh, on every single Greek island. I'm sure you have seen them. They look adorable. For us, sometimes they're like means of transportation. Um, a lot of people like to believe that donkeys are the little white vans for a lot of the ordinary uh, people in the villages. Uh, but in the Holy Lands, they're much more special and uh, unfortunately they're not cared for. So please do help and uh, thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.